Welcome to the Barclays Premier League. As always, Old Trafford bursting at the seams. The Red Devils currently top the table. This is their game in hand. A win will put them three points clear of the Gunners and seemingly on course for their second successive Premiership title. Bolton, on the other hand, well, it is looking very grim for the Trotters, isn't it? They've fallen into the bottom three of the league. And unless they get three massive points today, it is going to be one tough struggle for Gary Megson's lads. They are going through a terrible time, lost three on the bounce, and their performance against Wigan last Saturday, perhaps their worst of the season. Let's go to the lineup. Sir Alex Ferguson ringing in the changes from the team that beat Derby County 1 0. Seven changes. In comes Kuschak, Fletcher, PK, Hargreaves, Nani, Sahar, and Tevez. But wow, what a strong bench. And there you can see Owen Hargreaves surprisingly selected on the right-hand side. We're used to seeing him more in the holding role, but Hargreaves, an extremely versatile player. O'Shea on the left as usual. Nanny Fletcher, Anson and Ronaldo is your midfield. For the Trotters, well, Gary Megson, he's made a few changes himself. In comes Matey, McCann and Guthrie. Out goes Cahill, Campo and Cohen. But injuries really come in at the wrong time for Gary Megson's lads. Ali Alhabsi, he is in for Yuski Yaskalainen, and the Finn out for the season. That is a massive blow. And Kevin Nolan, the driving force in midfield, responsible for so many goals. He is not fit today, so the onus will be on Davis. We are just about set for kickoff. Let's send it down to Old Trafford and Peter Drury and Paul Walsh for the first half call. Nice. All that is logical, says Manchester United. Chelsea, Arsenal and others might hope otherwise. Bolton certainly will. But they clearly have their reasons to want to do well here. Alan Wiley, as you see, is the uh, referee. And Manchester United with a hugely altered side ahead of uh, Sunday's game against Liverpool. Driven forward early by Anderson. Away by Mete. Nicked on by Davis, chased by Juf, and away from uh, the left full back position for United by O'Shea. Fletcher. Absolutely critical intervention by the Jamaican. Nanny's corner. Ronaldo with the header. Ronaldo with the hit and the goal. It's not taken him long. Manchester United breakthrough after eight minutes at Old Trafford. Odds on an extension of their Premier League lead. Well, everything seems to fall for this guy at the moment. Corner was hung up. It was in. Ronaldo initially goes for it. Tevez tries to do the overhead and it pops out. Back for Ronaldo. Hits it into the ground. And flies into the top corner. A little bit fortunate. And he's not worried about that. United one up. The top scorer in the Barclays Premier League belongs to Alex Ferguson and gives him so much pleasure. For Ronaldo, it is a 23rd goal in the Premier League. Ronaldo. Nice idea from Tevez. Running over it in the hope that it would run for Nani, but uh, there are enough white shirts around it. Guthrie. Difficult one to control, so I think he just gambled and, and let it go. Juve. Guthrie. Tung up a good cross! And Kuschak has made a critical save at his near post, with Davis sliding in. Well, it's, it's a great ball in, it's a great finish, and it's a fantastic save. Once Davis made contact with it, he must have thought he'd scored. Oh, it's got his first real glimpse, and uh, Chris Chak has done well to smother it. What a delivery this is from young Guthrie. Yeah, brilliant cross. Took the goalkeeper out of everybody, and it's a great finish. You can't do no more than that, really, Kevin Davis. A brilliant save at the same time. Paul well, Walsh knows a thing or two about goal scoring. Apportioning no blame at all to Kevin Davis, who, uh, at full stretch, got a decent crack on target. Denied by the goalkeeper. Mate in hard on Ronaldo, who might fancy this free kick as a result. Yeah, it was one of those as it was fired in, he just... He's 
control just nicks it away from Maite. Thinks he can get it, just makes contact. He's not that injured, is he? Look. Might have been made for him. Yeah, now this is the perfect distance for Ronaldo. Time to get it up, time to get it down. Daniel Habsi would have been tossing and turning at the prospect of this sort of thing when he went to bed last night. He knows what's coming. Ronaldo. <laughs> oh, staggering. Just staggering. He leaves no margin for improvement this night. Well, it's one of those, you know what's coming, but you can't stop it. Absolutely fantastic. The perfect distance was set. Very similar to the one at Portsmouth. It goes in the back of the net a little lower. It's exactly the same technique. Rips up and through the ball. Comes down with pace on it. Direction's fantastic. Nestling in the back of the net. Little skip at the end of it. He knows that's in. Much of a difference between the uh, goal attempts and indeed shots on target even closer. Two of Manchester United's hit the net. And here goes Tevez. And here is Nani. And Nani! Charged down the first time, and off target the second. Well, after his first attempt, it was a little fortunate, it fell back at his feet. And he knew it was a chance then. A little excited and went for real power. Here's the first one. Just not getting the accuracy with the second effort. In one minute at the end of the uh, first 45, it's been a almost seamless half and Manchester United could end it with a third here if it falls for Ronaldo or for Nani or still for uh, Tevez or even Fletcher any one of them might have had a crack that uh, worried the goalkeeper stunts and got in the way it's still not over Tevez for a first half hat-trick perhaps for Ronaldo he sent it back for O'Shea I reckon I've mentioned half a dozen Manchester United <laughs> names there any of them might have scored and none of them did. He nearly went through the card. It's just a little too high for Ronaldo to go and attack and a beautiful skill. Tries to team up O'Shea for the volley. Difficult one. I think it's a bit close. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, in a sense, it's not as ideal as the first half one. But he'll have a plan. Now this is a more of a subtle one unless he's going to set it off. And he's doing his normal run up. It's a decoy. Nani's hit it! And the goalkeeper has made a really good save there. Al Habsi had a fair way to go and a fair way to get down. And it was a good strong arm save. Well, it's a great save in the end because it does take a step to the right hand side. And that's a quickly get down to his left hand. And he takes one of these to fly in. And the dynamic of the game changes. And Juf has uh, found the back of the net, but the whistle had gone. And Alan Wiley is indicating that he had indicated that they must wait for the whistle. <laughs> the whistle hadn't gone. <laughs> it was a decent effort in the end, but uh, now if the referee's told you that, then there's no arguing with the situation. I think Matty Taylor's relieved because he wanted to take it. <laughs> so that was quite clear, wasn't it? <laughs> They weren't, they weren't uh, singing from the same hymn sheet, those two. Can they get it as right again? Rehearsal was good. Juve's gone again. And Chris Jack had seen that already. Juve's shot broke for Guthrie. Hit her away by O'Shea. And five back in spectacularly. So that uh, Thomas Kuschak had to make a flying save from Nicky Hunt. That was decent ball in, cleared away by O'Shea. Sat up nicely for Nicky Hunt, hits it very well. And straight above the head of Kuschak. And a comfortable save in the end. O'Brien. McCann. Juve. Hit by McCann, it's a good save by Chris Jack. They really are giving this uh, 
A right royal rattle here, Bolton. Anything but surrender. Well, once again, Juf has a pop. Pops out nicely for McCann. It's definitely creeping inside the post. Ronaldo, thrillingly away from Gardner. Ronaldo could save Al Habsi. Tevez, Stolz, Rooney, Tevez, Rooney, Ronaldo. And Nani! Oh, what a save that is by Al Habsi at the end of a uh, beautiful passage of tight, crisp Manchester United passing. Well, it was, wasn't it? Absolutely brilliant play from United. He goes near post and a strong left arm comes out from El Abzi. Good save again. In by Juf. O'Brien competing, McCann threatened to strike it, but United smuggled it out. And now Ronaldo can hear forward. And here is Nani with Tevez ahead of him. And he's blazed it badly wide. Well, Wayne Rooney will go bonkers because he'd made a great run, a great deal of distance up. Just needed to roll him in. It's Rooney who wins it. And look how much ground he makes up. Drives forward. Look at the effort and determination to get forward in attack. And that's where he's on now. I think Sir Alex Ferguson will be annoyed at Nanny for being selfish when there's two or three good options on. A routine performance for Manchester United in the second half. Cristiano Ronaldo had done all the damage in the first half.